Hi everyone! Welcome to week two of the season of chapters. This week our prompts are markers, metal, and pockets. After that incredible heat wave the other week, I'm so happy to say that we've had wonderful weather and it's actually drizzling this Sunday morning. It's also very windy, so it feels 10 degrees cooler than the actual 65 degrees. So I'm really feeling the fall vibes. And um, that's why I selected these colors uh, that I'll be working with. They're Olive and Syrup by Dina Wakely and Indian Yellow Hue by Golden. I'm also going to be using this children's big bristle brush because I want to see the brush strokes, marks, and add some texture with it. Next, I'm using one of my favorite stencils and decided to use Cheddar by Dina Wakely because it's a tad bit brighter than the Indian Yellow. Um, has a little more orangey tint. So I'm going to pair this up with some white as I dab it through the stencil. For my marker and metal element, I'm just going with my trusty gold metallic marker by Crayola. So yeah, it's a children's art supply that I found over at Target. Simple lines across the pages are all this needs. I wanted to use elements I already had, and I'm sure many of you have these little bins filled with odds and ends. Admittedly, I have over two dozen of these that I keep tucked away in large baskets. Anyway, it was in this one where I found inspiration. These are fussy cut stencil designs that you've seen before in other projects, and these wonderful positive message cards by Dory Patrick were in here. They're all inspiring, but there was one in particular card that sparked a memory from a long time ago. First of all, this is a work in progress. And while this doesn't seem like one spread on two pages, they're still visually coordinated and connected through story, as well as having the same background. So let's get into it. On the left, uh, the card by Dory says, actually I can, watch me. Well, this took me back to a time when I was a little girl. I was hanging out with my older cousins who were in junior high and high school. I was around eight and I told my cousin Tommy something about doing important things when I grow up, something to that effect. And he wasn't mean to me or anything, his response was just snarky. <laughs> Funny thing though, it, it didn't make me feel bad or angry. I just brushed it off. And I still feel that very same way after recalling this story. I mean seriously, can't you hear your eight-year-old self saying, actually I can, just watch me. I mean, that feeling rushed right through me and I had a real good laugh. Now, the hand and heart symbolizes a promise that I must have made to myself, albeit subconsciously. Anyway, this is a pocket that will hold special notes to myself. 
Now on the right is a journal card by Corey Spiker. And when I saw this image, it reminded me, of course, of being grounded. Because when you're grounded, you are in control and in the now. And this story makes me feel empowered and very grateful. So this chapter is a keeper. Um, I'm turning this into a tip-in, but I don't want to attach it until I finish the page behind it, which is why, again, it's a, it's a work in progress. And that's it. That's my story for this week, and I really hope you're enjoying this season as well. Be sure to tag us if you play along with our prompts this week, and thanks again for watching. All right, everyone, take care. See you next week. Bye.